Well, thousands of nurses and doctors are preparing to spend several days at work during the storm. Yeah, some hospitals are even giving their employees rooms at nearby hotels to make sure they can be there. Jake Peterson joins us live with more on why. Hi, Jake. Well, hello there. Well, here at St. Luke's, they know that the bad weather means an increase in emergency calls. And just like all of us, they realize that this weather can have an impact on how their staff gets to work. So administrators here came up with a plan. Do you have a charge nurse there? Denise Mogg is one of the staff members who are putting people at St. Luke's on notice. We do call people to ask them if they want to come in and work, even if they're not on the schedule for the next couple days. She says they see an increase in medical emergencies, so they want to make sure hospital workers don't get snowed in. They provide hospital and hotel rooms for nurses and doctors. Administrators also make sure they have the right amount of supplies for a three-day blizzard. We look at all of our medications. If we're not going to get deliveries for two or three days, do we have enough medication in stock? Do we have enough food in-house to feed the patients? Mog says they are good to go and stocked with everything necessary. Okay, I'm going to go see how she's doing. Staff at the University of Kansas Medical Center are also making sure they're ready for old man winter. They developed a carpool system for those who don't want to risk the snowy roads. We try and partner them with someone that lives in their area so that they can pick them up. Workers at both hospitals say they are ready for a long shift. Nurse Debbie Bass says it's all part of the job. No, I would not mind at all because the hospital does um, make allowances for their staff. Because there's no snow days when you're saving lives. And while emergencies are likely to go up, scheduled surgeries are down. In fact, here at St. Luke's, 50% of the scheduled surgeries for tomorrow have already been canceled. We're live here in Kansas City. Jake Peterson, NBC Action News.